All right, people, it's Sprite here, and I'm so sorry for the delay on this video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. I just absolutely love it. There we go. There we go. I'm, this chair is always in the way here, but look at that. That is the setup right now. I'm getting super close to the camera. Hope you guys can hear that. I just, I don't know what it is. I feel like I've improved on it so much. The old setup, I'm going to show you guys what it looked like before. And it wasn't, there was nothing wrong with it, but I've been here over a year now. I want to spice it up a little bit, but it used to look pretty good until I've done this. Until I got this L desk, I use more of that wall. I just have so much more space now. It feels a lot more homely, even though it looks a little bit more professional. We got foam padding on the wall. I don't know why I even put that up because I really don't need it now with the new mic that I have. It really isn't necessary, but it just helps absorb the sound a little bit, uh, but I'm still probably echoing in here. I could fill the whole wall. That's what a lot of people do, but honestly, I kind of like how the X's look. It just, yeah, it's something different. I don't, you probably hate it, but I, I really do enjoy that. And we've got Walking Dead up there, got to rep it, and uh, this just, as a whole, we've got a whiteboard up there with some phase stuff on there, phase schedule, nothing really planned too much right now, but this is the long shot of it, and I just, I love it, absolutely love it, and like I said, it makes it a lot more professional, even though I make gaming videos every day, <laughs> it just makes me feel like, I don't know, it's, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, all right, well, there's, there's a sofa bed, um, when my friends crash here, they can just take that, it folds out, and you can, uh, sleep on there rather than actually sleeping on a sofa, which is pretty good But let's get into the actual setup shall we let's get into this this chair is gonna get in the way every time the chair by the way Is a uh, from Ikea which a lot of this stuff is from Ikea. It's called the Marcus chair I think does the job pretty good. I was gonna pick up a new chair, but honestly I like it. It's good So the filing cabinet, I think my parents just got me that to think that I had lots of files and stuff I mean I pay my bills and I have bills, but I would just throw it all in a drawer But it's there it kind of matches the new lamp that I got from Ikea Which uh, kind of helps light up the room a little bit when it's later at night I don't want the big light on called it a big light. I'm sure you guys don't do that then this um, Yeah, I don't even know what this is called this shelving yeah, cabinet thing, whatever you want to call it. Has all the consoles on, that is from Ikea as well. On top of that, we've got a printer and my iPad. Down here we have the two consoles, no longer three. I finally got rid of the 360, rest in peace. It's finally time though, we're gonna get rid of it at some point. And I just, I, I thought it was the perfect time, perfect year to, uh, yeah, I didn't throw it away, I boxed it up, it's away. But for now, got the PlayStation 4. Was gonna get the PS4 Pro, but honestly, I think it's been sold out on Amazon for a while now, and I don't really need it. The reason I got the Xbox upgrade was because I needed the extra space. Every time I get a new Xbox game, I have to delete an old one. Uh, first world problems and all that stuff, so I had to, uh, yeah, I saw an offer, and I just thought I'd go with it, so it's kind of helpful. And plus, I can move the old one into the living room, so when I have friends around, I don't have to, you know, carry a console through there. I already have one ready, so that's pretty good. The game's down here, if you want to see what I've got right now. Really only play COD on the console. <laughs> But um, it's there if I want to hop on different games and stuff, which uh, which I keep doing here and there. Controllers, you know I love scuff. I've been repping them for so like five five years now. 2011, I think I started using a scuff, and um, you're probably gonna tell me I need to cut my nails. So yeah, can't wait can't wait for those comments. But this is what I'm rocking right now, the default one. Honestly, love the default one because I like the sticks. I think the, the PlayStation 4 sticks are so perfect. Even though I have huge hands, they just work well. I don't know why, but I love them. Uh, but I would recommend, if you don't like those, to get the, the new one down here, which I really don't, I used, but like I said, I went back to the, um, the PS4 sticks, because I love them. But this is the Infinity. Recommend this compared to the old one, unless you like the old one, unless you like the old sticks. But on this one, you can change out the sticks. There's obviously paddles. You can remap the paddles as well if you want to hop between different games. You want to use the paddles for different things. Trigger stops, all that good stuff. It is really good, but I honestly just prefer the sticks. And I'm just, I'm a simple guy. I like the paddles and I like the sticks and that's it. But there's so much more you can use the controller for, which I really don't know why I don't do that. But yeah, apart from that, I've got a regular Xbox One there, and i got an Xbox Scuff there, which uh, comes in pretty handy, but yeah, that's kind of the consoles now. It feels weird not having the Xbox 360 there, but you know, it's got to be done. We've got to move on at some point. Down here is my MacBook. I'm not going to get it out, but that kind of just comes in handy when I go home or I do a bit of traveling. Now for the big part, the part that everybody loves, here is the full setup of the desk right now. The desk is from Ikea. It's like an L desk, which uh, just made me use this extra wall here. That's the heater, by the way, which is really terrible but this is a full desk here absolutely love it the monitors are aoc i think like 23 inches is this gonna do i focus here i really don't use this camera a lot i bought it for uh, anaheim earlier this year i never used it but we got the webcam up there which is a logitech c920 i think 
something like that. The monitor mount, as you can tell, the wire management isn't like incredible, but the wires are kind of all tucked in behind there. We have a triple monitor mount thing, which is really, really good. It keeps like the stands off the desk so you can use the space under it and keeps the wires kind of hidden. You can see, I don't know, kind of see that. No, I don't really do the best job, honestly. I'm not really the best at kind of keeping the wires hidden, but yeah, love the triple monitor setup. Two for my computer, one for my console, beautiful. So then we got the keyboard, which is a um, Steel Series, I think. Yep, it says it in the corner, James, you're an idiot. Just got this new Razer mouse as well, which is pretty handy, actually. Let me turn that away, it's too bright. Uh, then we've got phone there, obviously. I haven't got the new iPhone, don't really want to spend that much money on it. Got the Turtle Beach headset there, absolutely love it. Got the Elite Pro, and then we got the new mix amp as well. Got a shaker cup there for a bit of G fuel. The mic on this isn't actually the Turtle Beach mic. This is a mod mic, I think it's called, which uh, I use for all my commentaries now and all my live videos. It makes it so much easier than having a mic that's in front of your face all the time or it's just in the shot. It's just really, really handy to have it attached to the headset. So love the headset, love the new mic, and uh, I think they're coming out with a new one soon too. So yeah, loving it. So down below, we've got a bin. I know you guys are excited to see that. The lighting's probably terrible down here, but that is the computer and the... Um, yeah, the speaker thing. I really don't have good speakers. You can probably see them just under the desk there. They really don't, they're not that good, honestly. I don't even know where they are, but I, I kind of just have my headset on most of the time, so really don't care for the speakers. So have some good ones in the living room, so I'm not too worried about the ones in here. But because I've had so many PC problems in the past, I really don't know what my current setup is, so I'll make sure I name everything in the description below so you know what I'm rocking. But this is what I'm using for my capture card right now. I know a lot of people wanted to know what I record with. This is actually inside the computer, which I'm not, which I'm not going to show you guys because I'm sure I get a lot of people hating on how the cables are messed up and all this. I know there's a lot of people that love PCs out there, and maybe I'm like an embarrassment to that. But I just wanted to show you guys the box instead of opening up the computer. But this is what I rock: the Elgato HD 60 Pro, no delay. Beautiful quality, 1080p 60fps. As you can tell in my videos recently, I've been trying to render in 1080 60fps. It just looks so good. But obviously sometimes I can't because I don't have enough time. It does take a little bit longer to render. But um, when I can, it just looks so much better. So I'd recommend that if you want to check it out. If you don't have a computer, you have a laptop, they do have the, what is it, HD 60S right now or something like that. There's a portable one. It does the same thing, which is... Um, yeah, which is beautiful as well. So I'll probably pick that one up if I want to travel a little bit. But yeah, I don't know what else to show. There's so much to show. So many little things to show off. I really don't know where to go to next. I mean, I have the whiteboard right there. I've got some phase stuff on there. Nothing really too much going on right now with the phase channel and, and, and content in general. Then we've got these. Can you see these? Can it focus? 100K. I know you're probably saying, why the hell do you have two, James? Well... I don't know, I'm special. No, they sent some out and they thought they got my name wrong on them. But as you can tell there, it says Sprite and they thought they got the name wrong on one of them. I think they did it with a bunch of other people too. So they sent me another one and then they were going to make me return this one, but they never sent me anything to return it to. So yeah, kind of kept them both. So I'm waiting for that one mil. We're so close. I think we're like 175,000 away. It's not really that close, but we're getting there. Okay, I'm hoping to hit it next year. Who knows though? It's been a weird time on YouTube recently. I'm sure you guys can agree. There's a mess out there. Don't even look at it. Hold up. I kind of just shoved a lot outside. There we go. No more mess. You can't see it. The door's shut. Little tool stable thing over here with my old camera on there from university. Calendar, which I really don't use, which I brought from my bedroom because I kind of need to fill. This wall is kind of bare. So I need to fill it up a little bit. So I threw the calendar on there, which makes more sense than having it in my bedroom because I really don't use it either way. And then this is kind of like the top of the drawers. We've got drawers here. I know you guys have cable drawers if you're a bit of a techie. A lot of stuff in there. Kind of, kind of organized, an organized mess, you could say. And um, yeah, what is old? Oh my God, Xbox 360 games. And then I'm going to use them. Old headsets and um, the others are just kind of random stuff. But on top here, I was trying to fill the space because I had a lot of boxes on here with products that I needed to get out and use. So I kind of got rid of them. This YouTube bag, I had it in this box for so many years. I think I got this for 50K, 50K subscribers. It was like a camera bag. I think there was a choice between that and something else and I picked that. Uh, so I got it out of the bag. I used it a little bit back in the day, but now I don't use my camera anymore So didn't really need to use it. The G Fuel tower there, gotta love it. We got the lemonade flavor which just came out Which is pretty good, but I'm not gonna lie. Phaseberry is gonna be at the top. I know I'm in phase So I'm probably a little bit biased. You might think I'm biased, but Phaseberry is the nicest flavor I'm not even honestly. It's just so, so good. Uh, then we've got the a random taxi picture. I'm guessing New York. Maybe is that? 
potentially. I could be going there for New Year's though. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm trying to organize it now. It's going to be a lot of fun if I can go. It's just going to be a week in New York. going to be great. And then these are just like affiliate awards or not even a trophy. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't even know what they are. But I, I work with Scuff for so many years now. They just send these out to a lot of the, uh, the people who work with them. And I've been with them for like three years now. I've used the product for like five. So yeah, it's beautiful to have those. But overall, don't know why I have the stool there. Really need to put something on that. It's not even a stool. It's a table. Uh, but I think that is it. Honestly, what else to show you? I think I think I've covered everything. I don't want to miss anything I know I probably forgot something and I really hope I haven't But this is kind of what it looks like from uh, from afar here the the longest shot I can get right back of the wall right now Right back of the wall. So it's just oh, I it look so good the padding honestly just I don't even know why it's there But it just looks nice. It does look good But that is the longest shot. Can I make sure it's fully focused for this? This could be a thumbnail right here beautiful Absolutely beautiful. So I think you guys will like it. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I'm really in love with it. Honestly, I really am in love with it. I know there's probably some more I could do. We'll probably get some lights on here, some LED stuff, some different colors. I'm sure you guys could recommend some stuff for me. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, but I think that is it, guys. I think that's going to be it. If you have any questions about anything that I've shown in this video, let me know in the comments. Drop them in the comments below. I will answer as many as I can. I'm going to put the links to everything that I can. Obviously, the Elgato stuff, the Scuff stuff, the G Fuel stuff, Turtle Beach stuff. Those are the guys I work with. Absolutely love all their products. So I'm going to put their stuff there as well as everything else I've got. The IKEA stuff, the monitors, the monitor stand, the... Probably don't know what the print is called, but yeah, just as much as I can so you guys don't have to ask too many questions. But if there's anything else that I missed here today, let me know. But I think that's going to do it. Yeah, that's a long shot. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoy. Hope it's been worth the wait. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.